Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm gonna try to debunk um, this uh, mystery. Basically, uh, yeah, you might have seen artwork that's uh, kind of generating circle on the surface, on the skin of a character. That's looking a little bit more like this. So this is not like a 100% um, circle, but it's kind of pretty close. Um, but how do you turn like a surface mesh, this one is triangulated into something like this. So there's a lot of ways, um, the, but the one that I found the simplest is using uh, this uh, dual mesh setup. So if you have like uh, some kind of surface, let me try uh, maybe a torus. A torus is a good start. And I will turn on the wireframe. And this guy is not triangulated, but it's a good idea to triangulate it. But if uh, if you turn it into dual mesh anyway, using the tissue add-on, this guy right here, it should kind of generate something that looks like a Voronoi. It's actually uh, probably a little bit better if you triangulate it a little bit. Uh, the quick way is not, uh, you can use triangulate, but you can also use... Uh, Decimate, yeah, because decimate, if you reduce it a little bit, see, it, it, it still try to maintain uh, the shape, the 3D shape, but it's also making it like triangles. And once you apply that and then apply the dual mesh, you get something that's a little bit more natural. And from this guy to this uh, circular design, how do you do that? You can... You can actually use this uh, modifier, edge split and subsurf. Uh, the funny thing about edge edge split is that it actually can kind of separate uh, the face. So let me try smooth it now. So split angle zero, and you can see what's going on. So that's interesting, right? That's a technique you can use, but instead of doing that you probably want to maybe average the vertices beforehand so with this guy from this to that i actually go to the edit mode and kind of average it uh, this, there you go i think smooth vertices so keep averaging until until it's a bit more like circle, more or less. But um, this probably doesn't always work yet. But if the surface is kind of equally spaced like this, you can kind of average the vertices until you get um, this circle. Because it, yeah, you know it's a you just use subsurf and then you get a circular design. So that's kind of interesting, right? But you can also do the same thing, the whole process, um, slightly different, but similar using spare chalk add-on. So with a spare chalk, you can do it all in one go. So let's say you have um, this kind of surface. I'm gonna reduce the resolution. And you can see from this guy, it's gonna turn into this uh, circular design uh, in one go. I don't even need to do anything. Although this one is kind of nice because the circle is kind of almost like touching each other and it's covering the whole surface nicely. This one can be a little bit tidier, I guess. So this one uh, can be a little bit tidier, but basically what's happening here, I am generating a circle that basically fits on every triangles of this mesh. So that's kind of nice and it's actually interesting even though it's the circle is not uh, always like touching each other but this is a uh, I guess it's a it's a good step so from this guy to that guy you can you can already tell I'm using the subsurf and smoothing but to get this circle I'm I'm using this uh this setup here and let's look at the setup so I have actually two examples. The one at the top 
for 3D mesh, the one at the bottom for 2D. This one really is just um, the low the triangulation. So I get like a bunch of triangles, right? If I show it to you, so a bunch of triangle. And from the triangles, I'm fitting the circle on top of it. So that's why I get this pattern. Somehow our brain, when we look at this pattern, okay, that's that's looks kind of neat and very tidy. And yeah, for design, uh, this is kind of more appealing very, very quickly. So the other one is actually for 3D objects. Similar, similar setup. Basically, I'm using this... Uh, script nodes this has been around for years in Sverdrop now I don't think many people use it but it's pretty cool um, let me turn on the shading so you can see the 3dness same so I, I started with this uh, icosphere I turn on pause modifier and and then I use this circle fit triangle but before that, I used the polygon boom, separating all the polygons into its faces. And then I'm using this uh, calculate normal, list join, etc. Basically like a sticking circle on every triangle polygon you see here. Really, basically just like drawing it using grease pencil. Drawing circle on every triangle. Uh, yeah, so that's the idea. It's not perfect, but it's doing a nice, interesting job. Um, so if you have like spacely uh, triangulated, uh, nicely spaced triangles on a surface, you can have a, like a circle that's kind of fit on the on the on the surface. Okay, so that's basically the idea, and yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.